Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Guys, I hope you had an amazing, amazing weekend. I know they all just go by lickety split. I'll tell you, Judy and I were working like our full heads off, getting this whole solar thing done, got all of our panels up on the arrays. And it is just amazing. We're getting all of this stuff done. I got the electrician coming on later today to take a look and all that. And we're hoping to be able to flip these switches on before Christmas. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's quite something else. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. The article I was reading this morning should excite all of us in this digital asset space because this article is talking about the irony of reintroducing gold into the system through digital assets to back confidence in these monetary markets. Get this. Mm. So as we all know, most of the wide world is literally losing confidence in this whole fiat system and certainly in the U.S. dollar being the world reserve currency absolutely for a fact because the petrodollar is completely dead and like I love to say, we just haven't had the funeral yet. Now, having said that, central banks around the world are literally hoarding gold, buying it up like no tomorrow. Gold and silver, and by the way, Judy did a fabulous interview with Van Dell from Black Swan Capitalist. Now, these guys are really, really keen on the diversification and risk management of your portfolios. And especially, they hold to the fact that they think gold is a great one to have. Now, you know, it all depends on your risk tolerance, the percentage of what you would hold in your net worth in gold or in silver, in precious metals. But guys, I'll tell you what, Judy and I genuinely, we've used to hold gold and silver in a lot. And, you know, that was a big, you know, part of our savings. In fact, that's how we fell into this whole digital asset space because when the whole this came around and they were giving helicopter money like crazy, you know, we were looking at our savings thinking it's going to get decimated by inflation. So what did we do? We were out there looking to buy gold and silver and living in the lower mainland of British Columbia, Canada, major, major bullion hub around the world. And nobody had any, at least that they wanted to part with. And as a result, you know, it was how, it was through that not being able to secure it there that we ended up in this digital asset space. First thing we ever bought was Bitcoin because of course Bitcoin at that time was also viewed as a hedge against inflation. And then boy, were we ever awoken to the reality of XRP, XLM, XTC, Hedera, Hashgraph, a lot of these ISOs, and we transitioned out of BTC into all these other ones and boy did it ever revolutionize our lives one year later i kid you not judy and i saw such amazing amazing results it was mind-bending needless to say guys it was that flight to security that caused us to get there now you got larry fink from blackrock coming out not too long ago and literally saying that these digital assets are going to represent and could very well represent a safe haven against inflation tantamount to gold and silver. And you got the DMCC out in Dubai and they're already tokenizing gold. Just think about the implications. And there are stable coins right now that are already being backed by gold. Guys, I'm telling you, I think we're seeing some transitions happen. 2024 is gearing up to be a big time deal. Now, having said that, Look, Brad Kimes just put out his thing that in May of 2024, XRP Vegas is on the table. Guys, I'm telling you what, you do not want to miss going to XRP, you know, uh, Vegas conference, the biggest conference worldwide for XRP in May. And I'm telling you, last time we went, it did not even feel like a conference. It literally felt like a family reunion. It was absolutely stupendous. And guys, I can't wait to reattend. There's so, so many fabulous people, you know, in this space. Brad Kimes, of course, one of the absolute best out there. You know, you got all kinds of, you know, DAI out there, you know, Mr. Intuitive out there. You got blockchain backer, boy, he was there. Coach JV, you know, Judy and I were there. You had so many great folks out there. And boy, did we ever meet a lot of people out there, you know, at that conference. Just fabulous, fabulous community. And those that went to it, Put your two cents in. Tell people about it. The ticket price, guys, it is worth it, 100%. And I'll tell you what, Judy and I are going to be there at this one, too. It's going to be something else, and I can't wait. But anyhow, guys, 2024, gearing up 
to be an absolutely amazing, amazing year. And when you're talking, you got mainstream out there looking at the possibility of how gold could literally be brought back in to bring confidence back into the monetary system and through digital assets, no less. That is absolutely amazing. And it never ceases to amaze me. It seems like every day, practically, there's something new going on in this digital asset space. And we're going to get that regulatory. I think 2024, we're going to see some major regulatory clarity come in around the wide world. And another thing, I believe wholeheartedly that we are going to see a settlement coming down the pike for this whole deal with, you know, the SEC and Ripple on this whole XRP security lawsuit and all that. And the SEC has just lost bang, 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 so, so much. And here we have XRP giving its legal clarity, the only digital asset in the entirety of the United States digital asset space that has legal clarity granted to it by a federal judge in federal court. Now that is big. And guys, I think we're going to see something stupendous. Don't just get yourself focused on the little day-to-day -day price movements. And here we are, you know, trending back down and seeing that support priors, you know, resistance as support and all that kind of stuff. Because one day, tinker, 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 bam, up she's going to go. And most people are going to be left absolutely behind. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your week. It's Monday. It's a fresh new week. It's going to be great. And I'll tell you what, until later on today, have a great one and take care.